Hi guys, so today's video is going to be my January TBR and an update on The Witcher read-along. I know that not everybody who likes to watch TBRs cares about The Witcher read-along, so I'm gonna say that to the end, but for those of you that are like, that is all I care about, <laughs> I'll put up like a timestamp so you can just fast forward to that part of the video and find out the details for that. Getting into the TBR though, I am so excited because January is the month that Pierce Brown is releasing his fourth book in the Red Rising series. This, just like Mistborn and Witcher, is starting to to become a series I mention all the time. It is a science fiction novel and it's the far future where society is broken up into a hierarchy of colors. Our main character Darrow is part of the Reds and they are extremely oppressed and he is working to infiltrate the Golds who are the rulers of all of the colors and try to break down the entire system. The writing style is very different from a lot of the other books that I enjoy. It's very direct and very raw because it's told in first person, per first person, sorry. The new one that's coming out is going to have some new perspectives which I'm really excited for. It takes place I believe around 10 years after the events of the third one in the original trilogy. And to be perfectly honest, I like my series to have a sense of finality so I was a little uncertain about how I felt when I found out that he was continuing on in this world and following some of the characters from the original trilogy, but I read his plans for it and I was like, why do I question these authors? Like, they're awesome for a reason. Also, if any of you are going to the Howler Fest next month, which is the release party for Iron Gold, I am going. I'm super excited. I would love to say hello to you guys. I probably won't respond if you call me Elliot, but if you call me Elle and you're like, hi, I like comment sometimes or something. If you're gonna be there, let me know because I would love to say hello. Jumping now into a novella, I am planning on reading Edge Dancer, which is technically like Stormlight Archive 2.5. I should have read it before Oathbringer, but I went from Way of Kings straight into Words of Radiance and then from Words of Radiance straight into Oathbringer. So I need to get around to Edge Dancer. I've heard it's really good. I know a lot of people love the character Lift and this book right here is a collection of the novellas that Brandon Sanderson has written. So if you guys, I don't know how to say it though. I think on the audiobook they pronounced it differently. I would think it's Arcanum Unbounded, but I feel like the narrator pronounced it Arc. Arcanum. Whatever it is, I want to read Edge Dancer and I also, I was hoping to get around to Warbreaker in December but it's already the 29th and I haven't even started it. So Warbreaker also because I want to get through all those Sanderson's Cosmere books. Next up is a book that I am going to be buddy reading with quite a few people so if you guys are interested in hopping on board and think this book sounds fun, let us know and that would be Corsana by Charles Wellington II. This book sounds super fun. It sounds like the kind of fantasy book that's perfect for people who love fantasy but are really intimidated by like giant dense epic fantasy. It's not terribly long like some of those other books and it follows a man named Christopher Knight who's a psionic and has the ability to will things into happening with his mind. Even though he has these really cool powers though, he's always kind of kept to the shadows and kept to himself but always had this dream of being a hero and then some events transpire and he has the opportunity. It just sounds like it's gonna be a really fun adventure story. They've got a lot of your kind of stereotypical but fun fantasy stuff. They've got orcs, giants, dragons, goblins, so it seems like it's gonna be a really fun fantasy adventure book. Next up are a couple of books that are not fantasy or science fiction, so it's a little bit outside what I normally read, and one of those would be The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. I have heard pretty much nothing but wonderful things about this book. I've wanted it for a really long time, and I did get it for Christmas. I'll be doing a Christmas haul soon, but it is about a girl during World War II where they're burning a lot of literature and she steals these books and keeps them and everybody has said it's an amazing book and I really want to read more non-fiction or not non-fiction sorry <laughs> historical fiction this year so I thought this would be a perfect one to start with and an actual non-fiction book that I want to read is Between Two Harbors which is a reflections of a Catalina Island Harbor Master which is in California and I I just have had this on my radar and my TBR for a while and just never gotten around to it. It's one of those books that, like many books, I plan to read and I had it on TBRs throughout a lot of the months in 2017 and just didn't get around to it. So I, I want to finally get around to this book. Next is a book that is a young adult fantasy book. You guys know I love adult fantasy, but I do like mixing in some young adult here and there. And that would be Cress, which is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series by Marissa Meyer. I am obviously super late to the bandwagon with this series. Everybody has already read it and told me they either love it or it like wasn't for them or whatever. All the hype is already, I feel like, kind of simmered down, which is my favorite time to read books because when the hype is really strong, it can kind of affect 
your view before you go even into the book. I try really hard to avoid that. I don't like going in with a bias before I even start the book, so I'm really excited that I've waited to read the series because I liked the first one, I'm reading the second one right now, and I'm really loving it, and so I'm really excited for this third one because a lot of people have said that Crest is their favorite in the series. All right, finally, Witcher friends, <laughs> we can talk about The Last Witch, which is the first book in the Witcher series by Andrzej Sapkowski. First off, I just wanna say, a huge thank you to you guys when I mentioned that I wanted to do a Witcher, Witcher read-along. I cannot talk today. When I told you guys I wanted to do this buddy read, I, was, I wasn't I was sure what, what the, you know, the reaction would be if even that many people were going to be interested. And so many of you are really excited to read this series, which makes me so happy. I know a lot of you are going to love it. I know there are going to be a lot of you that are like, ah, oh, it's just not really for me. But ultimately, I'm just so excited because I love this series. I love the video game. I loved the video game first and then got into the books. And it's just fun to get to share this passion with you guys. And I'm so, so excited and happy that you guys have been so overwhelmingly kind and excited about this too. All right, so details about the buddy reading situation. Uh, I know a lot of you were excited to do a certain specific kind of social media for the buddy reading group. I had mentioned maybe some kind of a face group, Facebook group. Oh. I asked you guys what form of social media you would prefer and a lot of people had different answers. Some people have said that they don't have a Facebook but they would be down for Goodreads and other people's like, I like Instagram. So I just figured the most enjoyable way to go about this for everybody would be to make separate groups. I will admit that I am not tech savvy at all so I know on Facebook that you can just make a group and people can ask to join and I believe similarly for Goodreads um, but with with Voxer, which is the walkie-talkie app, which is super fun. <laughs> and for Instagram, I know you can add people to a group, but I don't know how you like ask to join a conversation. So if you guys want to do Instagram or Voxer, find me on those things. Um, my my handle for all of that stuff is always in the description bar, but it's EB Novels on both. And then that way, once January 1st comes around, then I can, make a group chat and then add all of you who are interested on using either Instagram or Voxer to those. You guys are more than welcome to be a part of all four of the groups or just one of the groups, whatever, whatever you guys want. And I, I'm gonna be really honest, I will not have the time to go on every single day on all four groups and try to chat with you guys all the time. I just don't have the time, I'm sorry. But I am gonna have Wednesdays be dedicated to Witcher Wednesdays. So every Wednesday I'm gonna go on, I'll put up a pinned post and ask you guys like, what do you think of this? Or what are your opinions about this character or whatever? And it's it'll be lots of fun. I'll uh, talk to you guys about it. I'll post my favorite fan art that I see on like Instagram. I may stop by on a random other day if I can, but if I can't, I do have my critique partner, you guys know I'm writing my own book, and one of my lovely critique partners, who is a fellow geek fantasy nerd, is reading The Witcher series for the first time, and she is also going to be participating in this buddy reading group, and she has said that she will try to do those similar kinds of things, like she'll go on and, and post and chat and stuff as much as possible with you guys when I can't. She's lovely, she's funny, she has a great sense of humor, and she's very insightful. And she's like she's a fantasy nerd so you guys will love her so much her name is Karen so if you see Karen like stalking on your guys's posts that's who that is anyway that is it for my January TBR I can't wait to get around to all of these books I can't wait to go to the Howler Fest and meet Pierce Brown and get the new book and I absolutely cannot wait for this Witcher buddy read because for pretty much this whole past year of 2017 I've been like guys I love Witcher and maybe like now you guys can be like me too if this is the first time you've ever watched me or heard about Witcher or you're interested and you want more information I have a whole playlist where I talk about Witcher stuff so I'll have that linked if you're interested but anyway if you liked the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe click the little bell icon so you get notified when I post new videos and check out some more of my videos right over here. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.